DJW, Doxing Justice Warrior, is the new SJW, apparently. Hey, it's Prince of Queens, and today it's time for some new potential internet slang as proposed by myself, which is something that describes a pattern of social behavior that I have been observing for quite a while now, which numerous other people have said that they have noticed as well. The term I propose would be the doxing justice warrior or DJW in short, which basically refers to the tribalistic and often irrational nature of individuals and groups who persecute people in the name of fighting against doxing. This obviously was inspired by the term social justice warrior, which was supposed to be a term to describe the tribalistic nature of individuals who fight for quote-unquote social justice, usually on the internet, but often aren't particularly concerned with any sort of justice at all, but instead they attack whomever seems like a good target du jour, often unfairly. Now granted, it would appear that there are some people who think that anybody who is at all against any form of bigotry is thus an SJW, but that's where the term came from. It was supposed to be about people who basically randomly would attack anybody that was accused of being racist, misogynist, or transphobic. Those people are what made the term have the word warrior in it, in the acronym. Justine Sacco was a great example of an almost entirely innocent citizen who was attacked mercilessly by hordes of angry SJWs on the internet because she said something that sounded vaguely racist on Twitter. She made the joke, going to Africa, hope I don't get AIDS, just kidding, I'm white, which a gawker journalist retweeted and eventually inspired her to get listed on the top 10 worldwide trending topics, get her fired from her job, and it basically ruined her life. To the tribalistic masses of SJWs, it became not important whether or not Justine Sacco was actually racist, and it was also unimportant whether Justine was joking. What was important, really, is that somebody said that she was racist, and that everybody seemed to think that she was racist. It was at that point when people stopped advocating for social justice and ended up being warriors, and thus, the people who attacked Justine could safely be called SJWs, or at least having an SJW moment, right? We can all agree upon that, right? A DJW, or Doxing Justice Warrior, is similar in title and with the similar tribalistic angry nature, but it's massively more specific in regards to the injustices that DJWs are attempting to correct. In the mind of social justice warriors, they believe that they are going to maybe put an end to all bigotry and discrimination on earth by way of social media hate mobs, or whatever. The doxing justice warrior simply believes that they are going to put an end to doxing, and they are going to do this by way of relentlessly coming after anybody who ever doxes anybody, anybody who even defends a doxer in any way, shape, or form, and seemingly anybody even vaguely associated with somebody who is even accused of doxing in any way. This is not to imply that doxing isn't a bad thing. If somebody releases somebody's home address and telephone number all over Twitter or 4chan, that's a bad thing. It's certainly not something I've ever done, and I wouldn't do such a thing unless there was an extremely specific reason for it, a reason that I can't even think of at this time. Still, at some point people have gotten a bit high-strung about doxing. About a year and a half ago, give or take, TJ Kirk was attacked by Naked Ape after Naked Ape noticed that TJ Kirk featured some sort of collaboration with the YouTube personality Atheism is Unstoppable. As I recall, Naked Ape didn't think that it was consistent of TJ Kirk to do so because TJ Kirk had proclaimed himself to be somebody that was against doxing, and yet Atheism is Unstoppable had apparently doxed somebody or other. 
Now, I am not saying that Naked Ape was necessarily in the wrong to call TJ Kirk a hypocrite for supporting atheism is unstoppable, because honestly, I didn't follow the story well enough to have an opinion. However, the fact of the matter is that nobody was accusing TJ Kirk of doxing himself, and yet there were countless people on Twitter calling TJ Kirk some sort of doxer or doxing apologist or something as a result of this happening, and thus, those people could reasonably be called DJWs. Similarly, Candace Owens, aka Red Pill Black, has been called a doxer by people like Blair White and Tree of Logic because of her site Social Autopsy, which Candace alleges only collected public information about individuals that was posted on social media. Still, despite the fact that the information collected was allegedly public anyway, people maintain that this still makes Candace a doxer, because I'll admit, it's a bit weird. But more than that, people attacked anybody who defended Candace in any way, calling them something related to somebody who supports doxing. And that makes them SJ... <laughs> sorry, DJWs. Oops, Freudian slip. So, sure, doxing is almost always a super bad thing, as people should have a right to their privacy, and somebody was even killed recently in a swatting accident. If there's such a thing as a swatting accident, I don't know. Swatting is a really bad thing. Similarly, I don't think bigotry and discrimination based on people's immutable traits is a good standard to live by. So I wouldn't say social justice is a bad thing, <laughs> obviously. However, there are definitely worse things in the world than being somewhat sympathetic to somebody who might have done something vaguely related to doxing or making a joke that some people found racist. So if you find yourself freaking out about either of these things, then I'll likely call you a SJW or a DJW from this point onward. Once again, legitimate doxing is bad, and legitimate social justice is good, but relentlessly persecuting anybody that is rumored to have done something that is somewhat like doxing and relentlessly badgering somebody because they allegedly did something vaguely socially unjust is also bad, especially if you're doing it in packs. It's tribalistic and annoying. Simple enough, that's all.